Well, I think uh, it's obviously very important for us to come and talk to so many gardeners because uh, gardeners like bees just as much as beekeepers like bees and uh, they're taking more and more interest in how to help us sustain the health of our pollinators by planting uh, for them. So that's why we're here and just not just to talk about the importance of forage but to encourage people to think about beekeeping, possibly go on courses, get themselves trained and there's an insatiable appetite for bees. No one doesn't want to talk about bees so that's why we're here. We have a, a, a pollinator friendly mix which we've worked with in conjunction with people that have an expertise in this area. It's easier to say what to avoid um, you know double blooms, double showy blooms, hybrids that may have been so inbred that they don't actually produce much nectar or pollen at all um, and obviously look out for the RHS's uh, pollinator friendly uh, symbols and when you go into a nursery you'll see symbols um, which you know denote uh, plants that are good for bees and the other really good thing to do is when you go to a garden centre just look at where the bees are I went to my garden centre yesterday and there are some plants that they are demonstrably all over like some pulmonaria they all the bumblebees were over those so um, it's you know see what the bees like and just plant more of them